My name is Roland Bless. I'm representing the office of the OEC representative on freedom of the media. Uh, I'm here in Belgrade for a conference on pluralism and uh, media freedom in Southeastern Europe. And, uh, I wish uh, all the best for your university, which is called FMK. FMK. Who would love to know if you have a media strategy in your country? Uh, no, we don't work in that way. And the office that I represent is Watchdog, which is tasked by 56 OSC member states to watch over the shoulders of governments if they honor their media uh, freedom commitments. Now, the much talked about media strategy in Serbia is a Serbian thing, and uh, maybe other countries have a similar uh, discussion or a similar debate about some legislation, but it's not something that is typical to the type of work we, we do is. We really talk to governments that they put a regime in place that journalists can exercise their profession freely. And uh, in this respect, I must say, Serbia and the Western Balkan, Balkan region at large has made quite some progress in the last 10 years. So uh, if we look at the OSCE region, going further to the east, to South Caucasus, to Central Asia, we have regions which are much more problematic than the Balkan region is. Now, of course, the conference we have seen today focuses on the problems. That's how it should be. But it's all it's, it's not all that bad. Okay, that's quite encouraging. So did you know that YouTube um, actually opens uh, at least for around 100 new channels daily? No, I don't know that. Okay, I expected that you didn't know the exact amount of channels, but uh, what's your opinion on that? Like, is that, that some kind of uh, free speech, media speech? It, it is, yes. Um, what we see with YouTube and other new media is a abundance and uh, an explosion of media outlets, opinion being presented, social media is another format in this, the internet a few years uh, earlier was maybe the first pioneering of this, and since this conference is also dealing with pluralism, we feel that all these new media, new types of media, are a tremendous source of pluralism, meaning several opinions which are competing, sometimes conflicting, and uh, certainly make it uh, richer for any user to get the view and the ideas of the other side. Uh, we support this. What we also see is that we need a different sort of guidance, education if you like, to read and interpret this uh, media. Because in a traditional newspaper which you took into your hands, you had lots of meta-information which told you a lot about the quality, the editorial line, the type of research, maybe even the political affiliation of a newspaper. All this is lost in a blog, it is lost in a Google search, and uh, people need to get so-called internet literacy, which doesn't mean that they need to read, they know how to read, otherwise they wouldn't be using the internet. But to get these um, parameters in addition to the basic information, and uh, this is only the beginning of the development. We can encourage uh, governments to include this in the curriculum, but we do not have uh, the capacity to do it ourselves. We can only highlight the problem. So in that sense, I'm sorry for you. Uh, do you have any suggestion for those that just enter or about, or about to enter? Uh, when it comes to new media, well, a, a modern day journalist which is entering the profession without new media, without the internet, without uh, social media even, will be lost. So that's not a good advice to skip it. And uh, what I predict is that throughout the career of that journalist, about 10 to 20 new formats will appear. Uh, I guess that we have seen uh, newspapers around for 150 years, we have seen radio around for 30 years, we have seen maybe television around for 20, 25 years, but now these intervals become shorter and shorter and every two years we have a new media format and a new media outlet. This will continue. And what will also continue is the convergence of these uh, things, meaning your telephone becomes your television, your computer becomes your um, mobile uh, interface, your, 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 your 
Skype is visual, etc. Et this will this will also continue. So yes, I believe uh, modern day journalists have no choice but uh, going with and, and, and through new new media. Uh, everybody has always said that traditional media will disappear. I am personally quite attached to newspapers because I like the coffee feeling in the morning. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a dying. A generation or if it continues. The newspapers are in crisis and uh, part of the crisis is uh, generated by new electronic media. So we will have to find new forms so that uh, the, the mix of, of the media can be preserved. Thank you very much. Pleasure.